It's been a year of trust and a year of hope. I've been in a place this last year um, when, I mean, in just all honesty, our world kind of got flipped upside down a little bit. Again, uh, we had just moved into our, our pastorate in Xenia um, in 2009, and then when uh, when plans began to change in, uh, in July, or in uh, May, um, kind of began to feel like, what, what's going on? Where are we at? What's happening? Uh, asking some questions, but trusting, and just knowing, I mean, we've known, we know all along that God has our best in mind, and but not knowing where we're going to end up, not knowing what that next step is, and um, but just trusting that God has our best interest at heart. I've been angry before um, over a transition that I had no control of, and I didn't get anywhere. And it took me a little while to get over that and to learn how to deal with that and let God have that. Um, but I have found that when you can relax and and, and maybe relax isn't the right word, but trust in, trust in who God is and, and His plan. That that the transition can be a little bit more, a little less scary um, when you're not trying to. If you're not trying to work all the pieces in the place, um, I'm not saying that you can just take your hands off and kick your heels up, but um, but just just trust God. Just trusting and having faith. Um, I've never been one that's been one to step out and say okay I'm gonna do this um, but I'm, I'm growing in that and when we've when we had the transition happen it was just an overwhelming sense of peace and faith that God was gonna take care of us and we had no idea what was gonna happen um, three young kids um, both of us being employed by the church yeah it was it was kind of a scary time but we knew that that God would take care of us that worrying and trying to fix things ourselves is, is unhealthy, but to try and find peace in the fact that God has a plan. And while we don't always see the next step, His plan is perfect. I think it's okay to have some emotions um, that are, you know, you may get a little frustrated, but in that frustration, just take it to God. Coming here to Aaron, we have found a group of people that love us genuinely and love people genuinely and have felt that from day one and just really felt like we've been able to come in and call Aaron Nazarene Church our home. And the city of Aaron, we're, we're settling in and, and adjusting to a small town, um, but at the same time, loving every minute of, of small town life. And, and uh, running into people all over town that we know and, and just uh, being blessed in being here and knowing that even though we didn't understand what was happening or why things were happening, uh, because we know who holds tomorrow, that uh, we were able to trust in that and, and, and he has brought us to a place that, that is home. The most exciting thing is how our girls have been loved and accepted and it's just amazing to me that the girls now know so many people's names and they walk into church and they're raising their arms up and just welcomed and loved and taken care of and we don't have to worry about about them that that they are being loved and that's just that's amazing because what we wanted for our girls was a place where they could be loved and cared for and it's just it's just awesome we've been a part of a number of churches and been in and out of a number of churches just in our whole lives mm -hmm. growing up in the Nazarene church and there's not a church like Aaron Church of the Nazarene and and we're blessed to be here and so are you <laughs> um, and if you haven't found that out yet stick around and you will um, the Spirit of God is in this place and in these people and It's just truly a blessing to be here and a um, great place for our girls growing up in the Nazarene Church and the Parsonage myself. Um, it's, this is definitely a different place and a good place and I'm excited to, to see what happens in the future.